I'm Cole. This is not a game show. This is Baseball Science Library, part two. Joining us first today from Team Momentum is the king of getting folded and last episode's MVP, Eric Sin. Next up, his rival and 2020 Mickey Mouse Cy Young Award winner, Trevor Bauer. He's sponsoring this video again, and any cash we win is coming right out of his pocket. Following him is Tosh, the president of Momentum. I'm not sure I was able to convince him to let us do this a second time, but here we are. Finally, there's me, the person responsible for setting this all up. I'll be participating in today's challenges and co-hosting alongside Marika. Four friends, one team, playing for thousands of dollars in cash. The players draw cards, and the one that pulls the skull and crossbones must endure an unusual punishment. If they complete the challenge, the team wins money. But if they fail or make too much noise, then they lose. Round one is worth $500. Begin. Every baseball player knows that whenever a ball is put in play, they have to run as fast as they can to first base. So our first challenge today is called the Hard 90. Since Trevor pulled the Skull and Bones card, he must run across 90 feet of Legos barefoot in 30 seconds or less. And remember, silence is key. Okay, wait a minute. Trevor was able to make it across 90 feet of Legos within 20 seconds, making this challenge look way too easy. But just to show how painful this really is, we decided that in order to complete this challenge, we would all have to give it a try without making too much noise. Tosh and I were able to complete this challenge despite some pain. However, Marika and Eric struggled. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Well, Trevor just might be a psycho because his pain tolerance was much higher than the collective group, but we were able to complete the punishment, so that's $500 won for the boys. Bring on the next challenge. Every pitcher who's ever been on a baseball mound knows exactly what it's like to struggle finding the zone. So this next challenge is called Just Those Strikes and is worth $700. Since I was a dumbass that pulled the Skull and Bones card, I must throw three strikes on the mound while wearing a shot collar. For every ball I throw, I'm gonna get shot. And if I happen to walk a batter, I have to start all over. And as someone who has the yips, this could be a serious problem. But remember, silence is key. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I was laughing so hard. Then it got a uh, uh. This isn't where you want to be. Down 3-0. I think I got him where I want him. <laughs> oh, 
21 missed throws later, and I finally threw three strikes. But since Eric laughed so hard, he threw up, and the fact that I had the worst pitching performance in baseball history, that challenge was an absolute fail, meaning no prize money won, keeping our total at $500. Let's see if we can bounce back and win this next challenge. Every baseball player needs a good throwing partner who has incredible accuracy. So this next challenge is called Hit Your Target and is worth $850. Since Tosh and Cole pulled the Skull and Bones card, they must hold cornhole boards above their bodies, while the other two players take turns throwing bean bags into the hole. Both players will get eight throws each to try and hit their target. And if they're unsuccessful, the entire team loses.
you too can get the best seats at any game of your choice to see great moments like this. Despite many missed shots, Eric finally came up clutch with only two throws remaining. And although Tosh might not be able to have any more kids, we were able to complete the punishment, so that's $850 won for the boys, bringing our total to $1,350. Bring on the next challenge. Hitting off a tee is one of the most fundamental baseball drills a player can do. So this next challenge is called tee work and is worth $1,000. Since Trevor and I pulled the Skull and Bones card, we both must be blindfolded while the other players place waxing strips across our body. Each waxing strip is tied to a baseball in which the players that are safe will take turns hitting them off the tee until each waxing strip has completely ripped off. This is not going to be easy in any way, but remember, silence is key. <laughs> oh, you mother! Oh. oh my God! That's my guess. No, no! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my God! How is being so fast?
I thought for sure that was me. Eric and Tosh were able to successfully rip every wax strip off of Trevor and I. However, we were too loud in the process as Eric somehow managed to get folded while hitting off the tee, so that's a failed challenge. Thanks, Eric. But with no prize money won, our total unfortunately stays at 1350, so let's bring on the next challenge. Every baseball player has been told at least one time in their life to swing for the fences. So this next challenge is called Swing Hard, just in case you hit it, and it's worth $1,500. Since nearly all players pull the Skull and Bones card, they must wear rubber chickens on the bottom of their feet while being chased around by Tosh, swinging a wiffle ball bat, blindfolded. The catch is that the losing players will also have a harmonica in their mouth, making it very difficult to remain quiet. And remember, silence as well, you know, should be key. <laughs> One, go. Despite Tosh's best effort, we were doomed from the start of this challenge as we even took out one of our videographers in the process. Sorry, Kristen. But that's now back to back failed challenges, so with no prize money won, our total stays at 1350. And with only one challenge remaining, we desperately need a win here if we want to walk away with some serious cash. So let's jump in to our final challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Since all baseball players must protect the boys, our final challenge is called Cup Check, and it's worth $2,000. Since all players pull the Skull and Bones card, they must be blindfolded and pick a spot behind the wall. And after every two throws, the players must switch positions at random and pray that their number doesn't get called. Let's see who has the worst luck out of all of us, and for the final time, silence is key. Have a ball in her hand yet? <laughs> oh my god! She just picked a number.
All right, I don't know how those lucky mother managed to not get hit, but Trevor and Eric survived with no casualties as Tasha and I nearly died in the process to win it for the boys, bringing our total winnings for the day to $3,350. However, the real winner today is Marika, who got to sit back and punish all of us throughout all these challenges. So, if you'd like to see her participate in the Silent Library Part 3, let us know in the comments what punishments we should do, and remember to like and subscribe.